organic learning. Some group of street vehicles today, some really fun ones, and we're gonna learn about the color yellow. Y E L L O W, that spells yellow. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, first one of the day. Whoa, this is awesome, and this is a yellow super bike. Oh man, this thing is so cool. As you can see, it's two wheels from the family of motorcycles here, and this one is made by Ducati. You see that right there? And it's even on the rider's back. That's an Italian motorcycle manufacturer, and they make some of the best in the world. Now, this guy, the rider, he is ready to go. Rum, 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 all the way around the track. He's got pads here on his knees, his elbows, shoulders, and of course, the super important helmet. He goes solo, racing around the turn, that his knee will actually touch a little bit. It'll actually scrape right on the racetrack. I mean, that is low to the ground and mean. And you know that after he wins the race, He's gonna pop a wheelie. Wing me, 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 <laughs> So cool. This is a yellow super bike. Next up, this one is really, really important, and of course, very, very cool. This is a yellow Fire Chief SUV. Yeah, we've never done one of these before. This is so cool. Now. Oftentimes when the fire department is dispatched for, you know, a fire or an emergency, if it's a big one, the fire chief will roll up in his very cool yellow fire chief SUV. Now the fire chief is in charge. That's why they call him the chief. <laughs> he will make sure everything is going as planned and that the fire is being put out and all the people are safe and sound. Now he's got a special kind of badge here on the side it says fire chief you can see the american flag and fire he's got a couple extra lights and sirens this is really really cool this is a yellow fire chief suv okay you guys i think everybody knows what this one is that's right this is a yellow school bus and not just any school bus blammo <laughs> It's the peanut school bus, and look, Snoopy's driving, and there's all his friends. He's got the regular cast of characters in there. We got Charlie Brown. Man, this thing is so great. I used to ride a school bus to school. Man, we would pack this thing full, and it would be just absolutely full of kids. And by the time we got to school, this thing was pretty loud. In fact, our bus driver used to be like, hey, keep it down. <laughs> I don't think we listened to him. <laughs> Man, we just had so much fun. These things are great, and of course, this, you guys, is the yellow school bus. Okay, everybody, next up, <laughs> this one is awesome. I bet some of you recognize this one. This is a yellow tow truck. But it's not just any yellow tow truck. Blammo! Wow! It's Toto from Ty All the Little Bus TV series. Toto, how you doing today? I'm doing really, really good. <laughs> Toto, man, you're the best. Now, Toto is so great and so responsible. He's always there whenever anybody needs some assistance. Now, if your car breaks down or somebody has a flat tire, Toto will come right up. He's got some lights here on top, sirens, a lot of reflectors, and he's got this real cool mechanical arm. Look how this works. It can go up, and it kind of opens up this hand part. You can go underneath the car, scoop it up, and then bring it to, you know, the shop, get the car fixed, or, you know, help the people out, give them a ride to wherever they need to go. <laughs> Toto, you are the best. This thing is awesome. And this is a yellow tow truck. All right, you guys, this one is so cool. I really love it because it, it reminds me of when I was young. This is a yellow wheel loader. But it's an extra cool yellow wheel loader because it's by Lego. And everybody likes Legos out there. Raise your hand if you like Legos. I do. <laughs> Man, that brings me way, way back. This yellow wheel loader is really great because it can work at a construction site. You can pick up a bunch of rocks, 
pebbles, any sort of supply grain, drive them to wherever it needs to go and then just dump them off. And as you can see here in the roll cage, we've got an operator and check this guy out. I mean, do you see that? He is actually sweating underneath his hard hat. How you doing, pal? Yeah, I gotta get back to work. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> this guy is earning it today. That is cool stuff. This is Legos and this is a yellow wheel loader. All right, gang, if you like construction stuff as much as I do, you're gonna love this next one. You know what this is? Yeah. This is a yellow excavator. And check it out, boom! Hey, it's our pal Poco from Tayo, the Little Bus TV series. Poco, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just great, I'm gonna wave to you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> all right, Poco, we're gonna talk about you a little bit now. Now, Poco can pivot all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and he's got this really cool, big, strong mechanical arm that can reach way high, scoop down, and either scoop into the earth or pick up supplies and put them where they need to go. Now, these things are so important if you're maybe making a giant office building for people to work in, maybe a, a big old parking garage or a giant swimming pool. You like swimming pools, Poco? Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah me too, man, I like to swim. That's so cool. Poco, thanks for coming by. This, you guys, is a yellow excavator. Whoa, okay, we've got the big dog next. <laughs> Man, look at the size of this thing. This, you guys, is a yellow mining truck. Yeah, I mean, this thing is cool. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen dump trucks before where you live at construction sites, and they're pretty impressive, but these mining trucks are for minerals, metals, or massive construction jobs. I mean, these things are enormous. Now. They can carry in the back here over 350 tons of payload. All right, one ton is 2,000 pounds. 350 tons, woo, that's a lot of pounds, you guys. I mean, that is crazy. They also use a lot of gasoline. Some of these can carry up to 1,200 gallons of gasoline. Just to give you a point of comparison, a normal car, eh, maybe 15 or 20 gallons. These have 1,200, whoa! <laughs> now, they're 25 feet tall, some of them are 50 feet long, and if you get a flat tire, getting a new one's gonna run you about $40,000 each. Hello! <laughs> Watch where you drive that thing, this is incredible. This is a yellow mining truck, wow! All right, everybody, next up, <laughs> this one is classic. And if you've ever been to New York City, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these. This is a yellow taxi. Yeah, but check out who it is, Blammo! It's Cap from the Robocar Poly TV series. Cap, how you doing today? I'm oh, really fine, really fine. <laughs> oh, that's great, Cap. Thanks for stopping by. Now, taxis are so cool because they will help you get to wherever you need to go. They know all the city streets, they know all the shortcuts, right Cap? That's right. <laughs> and they'll get you there real fast. Now, Cap is a classic checkered taxi. You can see right here from the distinct markings. And he's real small and nimble. Get your luggage there in the back. Maybe you've taken a, a taxi on your way to the airport for a family vacation or something fun like that. Taxi will do a great job of getting you there real quick. And don't forget to tip. Right, Cap? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> That's very cool. And this is a yellow taxi. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think we've got our longest vehicle of the day. Whoa. <laughs> Check this out. This, you guys, is a yellow tanker truck. That's right. Now, the truck part, or the cab, is right here. This is where the driver will sit and actually pull it around. And this part is the tanker part, and it's full of gasoline. Now, any of the vehicles we've seen here today need gasoline to run their engines. So these tanker trucks are really, really important. They make sure they get gasoline to gas stations, construction sites, wherever any of these vehicles are needed and need gasoline. This one's by Shell, it's a very big gasoline company, and they've got a real cute logo here. They've got a seashell. And I really like the colors, yellow, they got an orange stripe, couple of red stripes, that's pretty sharp. This is cool stuff, and this is a yellow 
tanker truck. Okay, you guys, last one of the day, and without question, the most unique of the day. I love this one. This is a yellow submersible. Yeah, I mean, this thing is wild. Basically, it's a submarine, but it's tethered from a larger boat above the surface. So it can go down underwater and explore. Scientists are on board and archeologists, and they get to discover the whole world underneath the ocean surface. And believe me, there's a whole nother world down there. I mean, look at this on the side. World ocean exploration. And that's so true because there's just so much to learn about underneath the water surface. You've got this big bubble here so they can see all around, right, left, up and down. And I mean, this thing is just so cool. You've got bright lights here so you can see the ocean floor and the tether that connects the boat to the top boat on the surface. Make sure that the scientists in here have fresh oxygen and that they can explore for a long, long time. I mean, this thing is wild. Very cool stuff, very cutting edge. This is a yellow submersible. Hey, you guys, welcome back. We've got an amazing day planned with some street vehicles and on top of it, we are gonna learn about the color blue. Let's jump right in, yeah. All right, you guys, first one of the day, and it is awesome. You guys know what this is? Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is a blue bicycle. That's right, specifically, this is a BMX bike, and man, I had one of these when I was younger, and I had so much fun. I mean, we took these everywhere dirt, through muddy puddles, I mean, we went off curbs, we built jumps, <laughs> I mean, we just had a blast on these. You put your feet right here on the pedals, makes the back wheel go, you sit here, you got your handlebars up here, and you would just go all day and all night. This was so much fun. You got a couple of mag wheels with chrome, you got your foot pegs in the front and the back where you do extra cool tricks. This is so cool. This is a BMX bike and this is a blue bicycle. Up next everybody, I love this one. Do you know what this is? This is a blue city bus. But look, <gasps> whoa, it's Tayo from Tayo, the little bus TV series. Tayo, you're actually here. Yeah, I made it. Oh man, and you're blue. <laughs> this is just perfect for today. Now you guys, Tayo is so helpful because as a city bus, he drives all around the city and he picks people up. They enter right here through the door and then they take any seat they want that's available in the bus. And Tayo here, who's great, oh thank you, you're welcome, <laughs> will take people to wherever they need to go. He's got some tail lights and signals here on the back for safety and people can stand or sit if they want. This is so cool, you guys, and this is a blue city bus. Okay, next, whoa! I mean, whoa! <laughs> Look at this one, you guys. You know what this is? This is a blue monster truck, 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 truck. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> and how appropriate, its name is Blue Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. Now, all right, I'm doing the echoes on my own because it's so awesome. If you've ever seen these in person, it's probably at some big old sports arena with tons of dirt and jumps, and the monster trucks are going up a hill and down a hill, and then maybe they're crushing another car. Oh, God, my car! <laughs> I mean, these things are great. They got jacked up shocks, massive tires, and I mean, they can just go over everything. This is so cool, it's like a regular truck, but like, you know, all jacked up and ready to do some powerful stunts. This is cool, and this is a blue monster truck. Okay, everybody, this next one is super fun, and I'm gonna tell you why, but you know what this is to start? Yeah, of course you do. This is a blue car. Now specifically, this is a blue Mini Cooper. You see that on the front license plate, Mini Cooper? Yeah, these things are a blast. They've been out a little while now and they are so popular all over the world. I love the kind of metallic blue that this one has. 
that means it has kind of a little sparkle to it. I know you can see that real well on camera here. These are great. You can actually pack in a lot of your friends, go on a little road trip, you know, have a good time. They're quick, they're nimble, they're really, really good on gas, and they are so fun to just drive around, and you can park them just about anywhere because they're so small. This is really cool. I love this Mini Cooper, and this is a blue car. All right, you guys, next up, whoa! <laughs> I think we got our big dog of the day. <laughs> this is a blue tanker truck. Wow! Hello! <laughs> and it's so cool. Look at this. LS Super is the name of it, and this is a German company, and that basically translates to everything great. Now, that's a great, <laughs> that's a great motto to have, actually. I like that. These things are really cool, and back here, they're known for carrying gasoline, but they can carry all kinds of stuff like propane or maybe oil to heat your house. Up here is where the person driving the truck will sit. Got a big window so they can see all over the place. Hey look, it says man. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And if you ever get to see one of these on the highway or the freeway, I guarantee you will be impressed. Wow, <laughs> look at all those cool wheels. This, you guys, is a blue tanker truck. Whoa, you guys hear that? Here it comes again. Awesome, hey, get over here, buddy. Oh, check this out. This is a blue jet airplane, wow. This is one of my favorite types of technology that's out there, I love jets, I love planes, and this one is really awesome. Now this one appears to be some sort of military. It's got some missiles and a really powerful jet engine on the back that makes it go. This is where the pilot will sit up here in the cockpit. And this thing is just so powerful. These go so fast, they actually can break the speed of sound. Can you believe that? So you'll actually see it before you hear it. That means 768 miles per hour. That is absolutely amazing. Check this out. Whoa, oh, buddy, do that again. Yeah, that was radical. This is so cool, and this is a blue jet airplane. Permission to land. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Copy that. Okay, you guys, next up, this one is so fun because it's very specific. This is a blue forklift. Yeah, now check it out. Look at these two prongs right here, one and two. What does that remind you of? It kind of reminds you of a fork. Well, these forklifts will basically go up to a big piece of cargo. Underneath it, it'll raise it up. Then it'll drive it to where it needs to go. Lower the forklift, go in reverse, and boom! You've moved that piece of cargo to wherever you needed to put it. Now, you'll see these things lifting heavy items at a warehouse, a construction site, maybe a shipping yard, and they're really good because they're nimble. They turn really, really sharp so they can get into tight and small spaces. And maybe, if you're lucky, the forklift will have a, a package full of toys or candy. Or toys and candy, yeah! <laughs> this is cool, and this is a blue forklift. All right, everybody, you've probably seen this one before. <laughs> let's not get too excited, or let's get very excited. You know what this is? This is a blue delivery truck. <laughs> now, I know what you're reading here. Toys are us! Ah, it's full of toys! Give me those toys in there! <laughs> this is probably the best delivery truck that's out there. Anything from Toys R Us is kind of awesome, you guys. Now, this is so great because it will deliver local items wherever they need to go. So, this delivery truck will fill up the back here. Driver will sit up here and make sure that everything gets delivered to exactly the place of business it needs to go. This one is really, really cool, and maybe if you're lucky in the back, it's got some, I don't know, Shopkins, or My Little Ponies, or Legos, or High Wheels. This is the greatest delivery truck ever. <laughs> this is a blue delivery truck. Okay, you guys, next up, <laughs> we've got one of my favorites. I love this guy so much. This 
is a blue train. And look who it is. Bam! It is Thomas, the tank engine from the book and cartoon series, Thomas and Friends. Thomas, thank you for coming by. You're welcome. <laughs> Thomas, you're adorable. Now, Thomas is really, really cool and really important because he's in charge of pulling all the other cars that would actually line up right behind him. Now, he runs on coal, which you load up right back here. And when Thomas is really working hard, you can see big white puffs of smoke and steam come right out of his smokestack. And that's very exciting to watch. Now, if you didn't know, Thomas actually lives on the island of Sodor. Yeah, that's pretty cool, which I believe is right outside New Jersey. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. This is so cool, and this is a blue train. Okay, everybody, last one of the day, and it is what? <laughs> Completely over the top. I love this one. You know what this is? This is a blue racing boat. Wow! I mean, this thing is radical. It's actually called a hydroplane. And hydro is kind of a fancy word for water. So this thing goes on the water at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. What? <laughs> that is insane. I mean, this thing just actually kind of skims the water's surface. And if you ever watch one of these, you'll see a giant spray of water in the back. Trust me, you do not want to water ski <laughs> behind one of these. This thing is so radical and so fast. I hope one day you get to check it out. Wow, look at that. It's got like a rocket engine on the back. Well, at 200 miles an hour, I believe it. Very, very cool stuff. This is a blue racing boat. you guys it is good to have you for some more street vehicles today check out all these and we are gonna do the color orange O R A N G E. that's orange and let's jump right in Woo! okay you guys first one of the day yes I love this one this reminds me of being a kid this you guys is an orange skateboard yeah check out this beauty now this one is really cool because it's actually called a penny skateboard and it's made in Australia anybody watching in Australia hey oh, good night mate <laughs> I'm sorry that was a terrible Australian accent I won't do it again <laughs> but we do appreciate you watching wherever you are and I tell you what man this is great because the deck here is actually a little bit smaller than a normal skateboard and instead of wood, it's made out of plastic. Now, it's cool because you can choose whatever deck color and wheel colors you want, so you can do any color combination that you see fit and that you prefer. What's really cool too is the wheels are so fast, you can just ride this around school and when you're done, just pop it in your locker. Now, I'll tell you what, one of my favorite moves when I was young and I used to ride these, I'd do it an ollie. I'd get on the back and go and maybe I'd do something like that, I'd spin it in the air. I'm, I'm just kidding, I could never do that. But I did do an ollie and we used to have so much fun on these, you guys. This is an orange skateboard. <gasps> oh, I love street vehicles and the color orange, yes! Okay, you guys, we are going back in time for this one and I love it. This, everybody, is an orange Ford Bronco. Yeah! Check this out. Look at that Ford right there on the grill. Now, this particular model came out in 1975. That is pretty old, you guys, but I tell you what, it is just as cool today as it was the year it came out. See on the back there? Bronco Explorer. Yeah, that is so cool. It's kind of like one of the first ever SUVs. You've got really big big four tires here on the bottom and you know you could take this four wheeling wherever you wanted to go in the woods on the beach you do a camping trip one weekend you got your spare tire there in case you get a flat and a lot of storage here in the back for your supplies and your buddies this is so fun and this everybody is a orange ford bronco oh yeah oh, i like this next one you guys you know what this is this is an orange delivery truck. But I'm coming in a little bit closer. What does that say? <gasps> Toy Kingdom, yeah! 
<laughs> now, anybody watching in the Philippines today probably recognizes this Toy Kingdom. That's because Toy Kingdom is one of the biggest toy chains in the Philippines. Welcome everybody from the Philippines and anybody else, you gotta check out Toy Kingdom if you've never seen it. It is so great. Now, as you can see, the driver will sit right up here. Sometimes there's two of them. They'll take turns driving and of course the back, that's where all the action happens. The whole back part just fills up with cool toys like Hot Wheels, Legos, My Little Pony, Shopkins, what? Yeah, all the coolest toys in the back of this thing. This is great. I hope one of these shows up to wherever you live very, very soon, you guys. This is an orange delivery truck. Oh, yeah. Okay, gang, next up, what is this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is awesome, and this is an orange unicycle yeah have you guys ever seen one of these before now let me ask you this if a tricycle has three wheels and a bicycle has two wheels how many does a unicycle have i'll give you a hint Beep. <laughs> one wheel you guys it's got one wheel now you'll actually sit up here on the saddle as it's called you put your feet on the pedals right here kind of like a normal bike except there's no chain and there's no brakes. So wherever you pedal forward or backwards, <laughs> the unicycle's gonna go and you better hang on top there. Now it's kind of tricky to turn, so you have to kind of uh, twist your torso a little bit or you can hold on to the front of the saddle here and help steer it a little bit. Now, any of you guys ever been to a circus? You've probably seen one of these, but they're whoop, really, really tall. And on top, there's a clown, and maybe he's juggling a bunch of like bowling pins or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you'll see a lot of those at the circus and street performers. Very fun to watch, you guys. This is cool, very different, and this is an orange unicycle. Wow, this one is gonna be a lot of fun, you guys, because this one has a very specific function. This is an orange water truck. Yeah! Check that out. I mean, this thing is awesome. Now, if you've ever been to an outdoor construction site, it's very dirty and dusty. There's sand and stuff. Now, these water trucks will come in, like this one, the California Construction Company, and it'll spray down all the dust and the sand so that the workers don't have to breathe that in. That can be very dangerous. Now, if there happens to be a small fire or something like that, the water truck can also come in handy and help put that fire out. All the water is stored back in here. You got a couple hoses back here, a little ladder so they can open up the top portholes and fill it up with water. And of course, you know, whoever's driving sits right up front. Vroom! This, you guys, is an orange water truck. Whoa! Fantastic! I like this one, you guys. You know what it is? This is an orange trophy truck. Yeah! Now, if you've ever watched any off-road truck racing, you've probably seen one of these trophy trucks before. I mean, they are built to race in the toughest environments, like the desert, along the beachfront, maybe in the backwoods. I mean, these things are so cool. This one is a Ford Raptor. You see that on the side? I mean, it's even got a cool name. Comes with a big old spare tire. I mean, it's got all kinds of like really tough suspension here on the, on the bottom. And it even has a bunch of tools. So if you break down in the middle of the race, the guy's got to get out and try and fix it real quick and then just get back in the race. You can't bring it to the shop. There's no time. These things are so fun to watch in action. You even got a little sunroof here, and you just cruise through every train you want. Whoa, slow down. I can't, I'm racing. Okay, buddy, I'll let you go. <laughs> These things are great, and this is an orange trophy truck. Woo! <laughs> okay, you got me. I want one of these, you guys. You know what this is? This is an orange Oh, whoa, this is so cool, and look who it is. This is from the Disney movie Cars, and it's Snot Rod. What? That is his name, it's Snot Rod. Okay, only, only Snot Rod can look so cool. I mean, he's got big, big rear tires for extra traction, 
flames coming off the side. He's got a big old blower for extra horsepower, and you know that Snot Rod is cruising all over town just looking to race. Isn't that right, Snot Rod? Oh, yeah, man, you know where races are. I, I want to race people. Oh, take it easy, Snot Rod. I I'll see what I can do. I mean, look at this. He's got his customized name stenciled on the side. Really cool red stripe on those tires. And, I mean, this thing is just built for speed. Now, we've got a little bit of unfortunate news. Snot Rod here has bad allergies. So, in addition to taking some Claritin every day, <laughs> when he sneezes, that's right. I don't even want to tell you what comes out of that blower. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that, man. That's okay, Snot Rod. <laughs> this is cool. And this is an orange hot rod. Whoa. I think we got our big one of the day. Check this one out. Wow, I'm impressed. This is an orange hot rod. Snowplow, yeah. Now, wherever there's bad weather, specifically snow, ice, both, you will find one of these big old snowplows. And this is a really, really big one. I actually grew up where we had a lot of snow. And you'd see snowplows, but this is one of the big dogs. Now, these snowplows are great because when there's snow on the ground, the plow here will just kind of come through and just kind of move all the snow off the road so people can still get to work and you kids can get to school. That's really important. It's got a couple lights here so you know it's coming through and in the back it's actually all filled with salt. And out, off the back here is a little nozzle where the salt will spray out and that helps to give you traction for your car and it actually melts the snow too. Got a couple drivers up here. We'll sit up front. And man, if the snowplow hasn't been through, you do not want to go on those roads. So we thank you, snowplow. That is very important to have one of those in your town, you guys. This is an orange snowplow. Yeah, you guys, staying with our cold weather theme, do you know what this one is? Check this out. This is an orange snowmobile. Yeah. And, of course, it goes in the snow. Now, it's really interesting. It's got two skis, basically, on the bottom. And it's got kind of like a, a tread, like a tank almost. But it goes really, really fast. That powers it. And then the skis actually steer it. Two people can sit here, and these things go just as fast as a motorcycle, only on the snow. That's right. So you can cruise through the fields or, you know, wherever there's a whole bunch of snow and just have a good old time. Now, they go so fast, you got to be careful on these because you don't want to fall off and hurt yourself. So definitely wear a helmet whenever you ride a snowmobile. When I grew up, I used to ride Arctic Cat and North Star, man. They were the coolest snowmobiles out there. <laughs> these things are so much fun, and I hope you get to try one of these. This is an orange snowmobile. Yeah, last one of the day, and it may be the best. Check this out. Whoa, come back. We need to talk about you. Whoa. <laughs> this gang is an orange seaplane. Yeah, that's right. That means this is actually capable of landing on and taking off from the water. Yeah, it doesn't need a runway. It just needs some water. Isn't that cool? Now, some people also call this a float plane or a pontoon plane because it has one, two pontoons, and those pontoons allow it to float on the water. When it wants to take off, it just fires up all these propellers and meow, just lifts right off and you're in the air. Now, this particular one is very important because it's a rescue seaplane. So, if campers or hikers get stranded, maybe you're in the Alaskan wilderness or way out in Montana, this plane will come in, land on the water, and it can rescue the people and bring them back to safety. So that's very important, and we appreciate the work that they do. This is so much fun, and this, you guys, is an orange seaplane. Woo! We had a lot of fun, you guys. Today was great all these street vehicles and the color orange which is an awesome color thanks for stopping by and i will see you guys next time bye bye oh brother i love orange street vehicles <laughs> oh i'm so sorry
If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a fun comment below. Thanks, everybody.